Hey everyone, this is Vish Vinod Pratap Singh and our today's topic is based on our previous topic map. Okay, so today we will be discussing about a bit more about the maps in a standard template library. So yes, yesterday we have discussed about the map that they are or they are associative container and they are all the elements in the map are stored in the mapped fashion. Each element is having two types. One is key value and one is mapped value okay and no two map values can have the same values it means we cannot have the two same key values in a map okay and after that i just wanted to tell you that all the elements in the maps are stored in the sorted order what all the maps in the all the elements in the maps are stored in the sorted order according to their key value okay according to their key value for example let's take an example here black for example i have inserted the values like 2 comma 20 okay 3 comma 40 5 comma 60 sorry my 5 is not much good okay and then we are having 1 comma 30 or let's say 10 okay so this is our this is these are the values which are inserted so what the map does that it stores all these values according to its sort according to its its key in the sorted manner okay let's say if i will print all the values okay if i will print all the values so it will print me the first element for here okay here 1 comma 10 it will print first this and then it will print this one 2 comma 20 and then it will print 3 comma 40 and then at last it will print 5 comma 60 this is the value which is printed when i will use the iterator for printing all these values map values and key values also okay so let's take a practical thing okay if here what i have already declared some header files for this okay then i have used using namespace std then in the main function i have declared the map and its types are map key type and map data type are int and its name is mp okay so here i am inserting all the elements yesterday we have seen that we are we were inserting some constant integers using the pair function okay so today here we are using the make pair function okay so because make pair function is a bit easier to use but in the pair function we always have to give the data type like this okay so here we i have inserted the values 10 20 120 660 440 and 13 100 okay so all these values are in the unsorted manner okay they are not sorted they are unordered okay let's print all these values using the iterator itr okay so firstly i have declared the itr is equal to mp dot begin and then i have given a condition that is it iterator should not at the end I, it means it should not end go up to the end okay then i after that itr plus plus and it is printing the itr first and itr second so let's run this program once wait what itr second does not name a type second wait have i done something wrong here why man why it's fine i think yeah it's fine i just i think i have selected that second okay so here you can see as we have entered some of the values here like this and we are getting all these values in a sorted manner okay firstly we get what 120 440 then 660 then 1020 then 13 100 all are in sorted manner printed okay all are in sorted manner according to their key values okay so now this our sorting from about the sorting is completed now we will move to some basic functions of which are used in the map okay so firstly we will use erase function and uh, this erase function is used to delete the elements which are having some key key values k and uh, for deleting some particular element with the key some key value so firstly we here we have to what here we have to pass a pass a constant and it's con and its constant value is equal to the key value whose element we wanted to delete okay 
so let's say let's use this function okay so here is what we are using the i have already made this okay so i will just uh, uncomment all this and i will comment this clear function so here i am using this thing that uh, you delete deletion i am just printing that uh, yeah, mapped the element is deleted and mp dot erase actually this erase function used to return whether the element deleted or not deleted if it is deleted so it will just return one and if it is not deleted or means that 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 particular key value is not found in the l in the map container so it will just return zero okay so let's see and here i will print the elements after the deletion of it okay so let's okay it's creating because i have selected that okay so now it will run yeah here you can see that we are having all the firstly we have printed the elements of it okay here you can see that we have printed all the elements then we are using delete function and what we have seen there that yes element is deleted one and for this because we have passed here the value one key value one so the first element will be deleted should be deleted here so after when we are printing the elements so yes you can see here that only the one the key value the element with key value is deleted and all the functions all all the elements are here in front of you okay all the functions are as it is in a sorted manner okay even if we will delete any kind of value for example from the between of it okay let's say we are deleting the six okay let's say if we are deleting six so if we are running it so then also it will be in a sorted manner so yeah here you can see that one four six this is in a sorted manner yeah element is deleted one this is true and then one four six six is not here it means six l the element with the key value six is deleted from here okay so yeah, you have seen the use or use case of the erase function. It usually returns the, whether the element is deleted of some uh, or not with some key values k, okay, or g. You can say g also. And now we will move to the clear function, okay. What the clear function does? Clear function removes all the elements from the map. It means if we are having we have inserted all these elements in the map using the insert and make pair function, but if we wanted to delete all these elements so we have just have to use mp dot clear okay this is the method to use the you to clear all the elements from the container okay so if we will use this so yeah you can see here let me yeah it just came here okay if printing the elements maps element okay oh i think i hadn't I just have commented all this printing the maps after deletion. Yeah, it was right actually. I have just misunderstood that. There it is. Yeah, firstly, it is printing the matter all, all the elements okay in the sorted manner. Then it have already deleted, and because of that deletion, there is no element remaining here. So this function is not even have any kind of element. So that's why the only this statement is conducted or if you wanted to check I, I just mean that that are that only that a statement has just run so if you wanted to check see out here we can use empty function okay uh, empty or not so if it will returns let's say empty dot empty yesterday we have talked about the empty function okay so it will tell us whether the it is empty or not if it is one it means yeah that yes it is empty yeah it is giving us one it means the whole container whole empty map container is one it i mean it is empty okay so here this was all about this clear function and now we will move to the swap function okay so what the swap function actually used to do the swap swap function exchange or yeah it actually exchanges the contents or the elements of the maps or elements of the two maps two different maps 
or having some different uh, map name but having the same type okay and th these map must be of same type although the size may differ that doesn't matter size doesn't matter if uh, both of the map are having same type like type means the key value type and the mapped value type should be same okay let's uh, take an example here here i have also made this one okay so here i will just uh, delete all those irrelevant things here yeah, I don't I think I don't think so that I have to use this thing here. So let's say yeah here we are having two maps. Okay, one map is empty and firstly I have just inserted some of the elements inside it and I and then I have just printed all them all of them and now I am using the second map str and having the same data type as this empty map had. Okay, so and then after that i have used to i have inserted some of the values nearly four elements inside it okay and then i will print the map okay after that here i have used the swap function okay you can see here that here i have used the swap, swap function this is the one way to swap it okay i will also tell you the second way to swap okay then i am just printing all both the maps values this is mp maps elements and after that str maps element so let's run this program uh, i guess i am selecting always some elements okay yeah let's see see this this printing mp element means if we are firstly printing the first maps element and in the second line we are printing the second maps element all of them are in sorted manner as you can see here these are all, all these are the str maps elements and here we are using the str tag we are we were implement uh, we were printing all the values so all of them are in a sorted manner according to the key values and after that we are having the when we have used the swap function okay after using the swap function mp dot swap str okay we are swapping maps value maps and str strs elements to each other okay so here you can see that here you can see that maps value that maps elements are as same as the str elements had okay so, and the str elements values are same as the maps values has okay so this is what the map function used to do i mean just swap swap function used to do and the second way to swap it is this that we can simply use swap function and we can use here the two maps name mp here also i think that it should run if it is possible okay it's not yeah it's true correct so it will also swap all this yeah here you can see that the first maps elements are these then strs melee and wait sorry then strs elements are these then after swapping it the str maps oh wait 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 i am running so fast i guess these are the maps element okay these are the strs element before swapping and these are the maps element after swapping and these are the strs elements after swapping okay so this is all about our swapping and all deletion of the maps values and the sorting all those kind of things okay so yeah this video is completed and thank you for watching this video friends and if you really like this video so hit the like button and subscribe for the latest updates and thank you very much friends